Remember in 2016 where there were emails from Hillary Clinton and the DNC that made Hillary and other Democrats look really bad, and those were given to WikiLeaks who published it, and the media went nuts, and Julian Assange is now facing criminal charges still to this day four years later over that? How is what the New York Times did today any different? They received information that presumably was obtained illegally to smear Donald Trump, and yet they published it. That's all Julian Assange did. There's never a claim that Julian Assange himself illegally hacked the emails or anything like that. He just published newsworthy things. So if Julian Assange is still under criminal investigation, why wouldn't the New York Times for the same thing? Now, the truth is, I don't think either of them should be, but it just shows the hypocrisy. The other thing was, remember, everyone said how horrible it was. Trump was willing to accept this illegal help from Russians. We still have no proof it was the Russians that hacked Hillary Clinton or the DNC, but even if it was, they said, can you believe Trump was willing to accept illegal help in the smearing of Hillary Clinton? Isn't that what every Democrat's doing right now? They know that this was most likely an illegal leak of Trump's tax returns, yet they're all on Twitter right now and on their media channels talking about how this is horrible for Trump. It's not. It just shows that a man took legal tax loopholes. If you don't like the system, then change the tax loopholes. I'm for that as well. But if Trump was able to do this for the past 15 years, as they're suggesting, though if you look at the details, it's not that bad. But if he was, then that goes to show that Trump's tax cuts had nothing to do with allowing the rich to avoid these tax loop or to have these tax loopholes. This has always been the case, and neither party has wanted to do anything to change it. In fact, the billionaire class is overwhelmingly Democrats at this point. They don't want to change these loopholes. So nothing Trump did it created these loopholes. Trump didn't do anything illegal. Trump didn't wasn't hiding shady business deals with Russia, as the New York Times and the Young Turks and CNN have all told us for four years that would be the case. Nope. He seems to have lost a lot of money, particularly once he became president, and he took advantage of legal tax loopholes. Okay. Trump's not the one who said it was immoral to take, some to take these loopholes. We also know from Bernie Sanders' tax returns, someone who says that it's immoral for millionaires to not pay their fair share, that he took advantage of every loophole that he could have. He was paying a lower tax rate than most other millionaires. The difference is it's not hypocrisy if you're like, yeah, I'm for smaller taxes and you took advantage of loopholes. But it is hypocrisy if you're the Democrats that say, yes, we think millionaires should have to pay their fair share, but then they themselves take advantage of every loophole they can. So to me, what this story shows is that we were lied to about, oh, there must be connections to Russian. Not that that would have mattered anyways. That Trump didn't do anything illegal that this shows. And that the New York Times did exactly what Julian Assange did. Assange faces a huge prison sentence for it. The New York Times won't. And the Democrats did exactly what they criticized Trump for doing. Using illegally obtained information to attack their political opponent. Yet the media won't have the nerve to call it out as this is. Just more hypocrisy from the media. Hey, everyone, as always, have a good one.